Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duo video. Ladies and gentlemen, happy anniversary. We've played a year of Street Fighter Duo, and now we're gonna get the events and we're gonna check what we're gonna get. So, first of all, we're getting the event for Visconde uh, Vega, and we're gonna get the event for Dan, actually, the new Dan that we uh, have gotten. And we're gonna talk about Dan in the next video. This video is dedicated to Visconde uh, Vega, and we're gonna go and check his skills. First of all, we have a major thing that we have the celebration night. The celebration night is that you go and cream your uh, cake, you give cream to your cake, you, you get the cream by doing the dailies and uh, uh, getting the activity points and getting all of the boxes in the daily and you're gonna cream the cake five times. Every time you cream the cake you're gonna get a small reward and uh, it's a class platform for Crunchyroll and A+. If you cream the cake and finish it, we're gonna get a lot of rewards in the end, which is absolutely crazy. Plus, on top of that, if you share the event by the end of this, uh, or uh, when you log in, you have a share button down in the uh, bottom right. If you share the event, you're gonna get a free a Chaotic Starlight, which is an absolutely crazy. Thank you, devs. Thank you, Crunchyroll and A+, for this opportunity. You don't need to do anything. Just share it or fake share it, and you're gonna get that uh, copy, which is absolutely insane. If they do it this daily, you're gonna get daily for seven days, maybe, or for the duration of this. This will be insane, actually. But I bet it's a one-time thing, which is absolutely awesome, actually, having a free Starlight, uh, Chaotic Starlight, which is uh, uh, which cost you around $100 in the shop to buy which is really good. Another thing, we have the memories, which they describe and tell you whatever you did throughout a year on your account, which is really good. It's the same one as the half anniversary. I like it actually, it gives you the statistics of your account. You can screenshot it and save them later. Absolutely nice. Return of the legendaries. We have the legendaries back, all of them except Nero. Of course, the collab units will not be having uh, a rerun because it's a contract bound uh, thing. Now, everything is by minus 65%, as you see, as uh, uh, if you want to purchase the legendaries, um, except Flame Chun, which is the most important one for them, and it's for minus 75%. So, if you want to go and purchase it, it's now your time to purchase it. Absolutely a good deal. And that's it. For this, it's an absolute crazy one. It will tell you later what you're gonna get. Also, we have uh, VIP rewards, so you can go and reclaim. I did reclaim every single VIP reward that you already claimed. You can claim them again. Absolutely insane. As uh, as for the event, lots of rewards. Many, many. Uh, I've watched many anniversaries of other games. They didn't give so much rewards. Uh, I'm still free to play. Yes, but I think I'm gonna stop being free to play if. Uh, Dan or Vega are worth it. So let's go and read their skills. So here we go Vega absolutely in love with his art and his design. I absolutely love the art and the design here So let's check what he does. Uh, first of all, is he a trigger unit? Not a super C2. It says it doesn't say okay, okay So I'm gonna check that later. So his super bloody cyclone and it's an AOE Sacrifice 30% of current HP to unleash a bloody slash dealing damage equal to 322% of attack to all enemies. This unleash additional slash that deals the same amount of damage to nearby enemies in an area that uh, the bloody slash has a 50% chance to inflict blood tier. We're gonna read what's blood tier next. So he sacrificed 30% of current HP. Probably he have a lifesteal somewhere. Or if he doesn't, we can play on him. Uh, which is jury, which will give him life steal, so he can gain HP again. Uh, we check this later, and he does double damage. He does double damage. 30, uh, 322 percent of attack times two because he deals the same amount of damage again, which with another slash. And there's a 50 percent chance to get blood tear. We're gonna read what's blood tear. So the blood tear has a addition has an 80 percent. Uh, okay, so it goes to 80 percent to be inflicted. When the fighter HP is less than 40% of max HP, the bloody slash and the additional slash each have a 60% chance to additionally inflict one more blood tier. Really great, make it more consistent. And he deals double damage, absolutely good unit so far. Blood tier, what does it do? Considered a bleed effect, we knew that. Causes the target to lose 2% of max HP every second. Wow, that's nice. Capped at 30% of attack. What does that mean, capped of 30% uh, of attack? 
It means the more that you build them on attack, the more the 2% will take more damage and effect on the bosses, which will not will be capped. It will be capped at your attack, not the HP. So you build him on attack. So the more stars you have on him, the more uh, soul power you have on him, the more uh, that you build his uh, fighting spirit and the fighting soul that you use on him. So use War Dance as a fighting soul, which give you 9% attack, or a soul that give you 9% more attack. This is absolutely crazy. This damage ignores shields. Absolutely great. So I wonder if it works against bosses like Betharak and other ones uh, in the Effigy Clash. The bosses that you go and they have shields. If you still deal damage through the shields. So it's a PvP unit as well because it ignores shields uh, of Abel and uh, Summer Yang and everybody, every shielder. Lasts until the end of the battle and stacks up to 5 times. What? The blood tier lasts until the end of the battle and stacks up to 5 times? Wait, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is one of the best effects in the game so far. So if you just stack it for five times, that's infinite on the bosses. They can't remove it unless the boss cleanses himself or their cells. But I don't think the bosses cleanse their cells. So you're going to inflict five times of this. So the, the enemy will lose 10% of max HP capped of 30% of attack. 2% it means by five. That's 10% of max HP on bosses or any unit that it stacks on them. Per second, per second, you're gonna deal 30% of his attack on the boss or on the enemies. Absolutely crazy. This is absolutely nice. Ignores shields and it's consistent. Of course, they didn't say that it's not uh, dispellable. So you can, if in PvP, you can cleanse it. So you can cleanse it with other units, but it's absolutely huge for bossing. Let's read this passive. So Crimson Reaper. Upon inflicting blood tier, increase a crit damage by 4% and attack by 2% for 18 seconds. Stacks up 10 times. Okay, for 18 seconds and stacks up 10 times, it means you refresh it every time you apply it. So when you inflict the first time, you're gonna get the increase by 4% and the increase by 2%. And you do with this 10 times, stacks up 10 times. So 10 times you can do that and it goes to uh, crit damage. 40% and attack 20%, that's a huge buff. You need to build him on attack, remember what I said? And this will give you 20% attack, absolutely nice. When the fighter's HP is less than 40% of max HP, they have 10% life steal. we spoke about this, I knew that he would have it. When attacking and 25% damage reduction when attacked, he would reduce the damage taken by 25%. So he self-sustain with life steal and he reduces the damage taken and deals a lot of damage and he buffs himself a general uh, overall good unit not good unit top tier unit. I think this is the best bossing unit so far if he deals the 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 blood tier uh, until the end of the battle I think he's a he can be better than fire Aedon we're gonna need to test this so we can give a good judgment upon inflicting blood tier increase the da crit damage by 6% and the attack by 3% so go to 30% and 60% that's awesome when this fighter's HP is less than 40% of max HP, they have 15% lifesteal and 40% uh, damage reduction when attacked. Okay, he self-sustain. Very, very good. At level 5, upon inflicting crit damage, go to 70% attack. Or 7%, which means times 10, it goes to 70% attack. This is resonance 3, so you need his EX move to get it to plus 3 or to 3 stars, he will have this. Absolutely crazy. Now he has C2 and C3. C3 is the most important. Let's read the C2. Maybe it's a game th changing. Also AOE. All his spells looks AOE. Is this C3 AOE? Yes. Okay. Sacrifice 30% of current HP to spire forward and pierce behind the enemy before returning, dealing damage equal to 468% of attack to enemies in an area. Each strike has a 10% chance to inflict blood tier. So he has chances to inflict blood tear again with his C2, absolutely crazy. And it's a mechanic that you can manual to cheese some stages or some bosses or some enemies to go behind them and not take frontal damage. He reduces damage taken, but you can uh, uh, evade all of the damage if you go behind the enemies. This is a great, actually, a skill to have as a C2. That's actually great. Level 2, increase the damage to 538% of attack. Each strike has a 15% chance, 15 chance to inflict blood tear. Each strike has 18% chance to inflict blood tier. So he gets his blood tier by his super and his C2 and his C3, I guess. Let's read. Crimson Slash AOE sacrifice 30% of current HP to charge up and unleash bloody projectile. Charge up. I wonder how much time it takes him to charge up. 
Dealing damage equal to 431% of attack to all enemies, then unleash an additional slash that deals the same amount of damage to nearby enemies in an area. He doubles his damage and deals the same amount of damage. Oh my god. So it's not 431%, it's 862% of damage. That's double the damage. Okay, on level 2, the skill ignores shields and damage immunity effects. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Okay, absolutely monster of a unit. He can kill Bison, Summer Elena, uh, E Honda. He can kill uh, Sagat through their immunities. This is an absolute insane unit. He does everything. He life seal, sustains with, with life seal. He da reduces damage taken. He buffs himself with attack and crit damage. He inflicts infinite bleed until the end of the battle. He life seal. He does everything. He can evade with his C2. And he ignores immunities and ignores shields. Absolutely insane unit. This skill ignores shield. The skill ignores shield. It's not the bleed that ignores shield. If there's a shield, it doesn't matter. There's no shield. I will hit you with a C3 and it's AoE the entire team. If you're playing an able or against able, use him. He will just destroy them. Absolutely insane unit. It's insane. He's insane. This is the insane unit in the game. This is the, what we needed. A new unit that can break the meta. When the bloody projectile hits an enemy, it leaves behind a phantom that slashes the target three times, dealing true damage equal to 30% attack per slash. So on top of that, he deals also true damage. Okay. 30% uh, uh, of his attack, dealing damage three times. That's that's crazy. Each slash has a 30% chance to inflict blood tear. So he's, he's consistent, very consistent with his blood slash, with his blood tear. Okay, increase the damage to 474% of attack. Absolutely a monster unit. I think this is the new meta unit. I need to check Fire Aedon because of uh, Flame Chun with the penetration. If he deals more damage or, or he deals more damage. I think I'll go all out with the summons on uh, Vega, on Visconde Vega. I think I'll, I'll even try to... If I didn't get him, I'll pay. I think I'll break my free to play just for this unit. Absolute monster unit. So, his uh, fighting a spirit... So, Goji's Tuxedo, his exclusive. Okay, he, he goes crit rate and crit damage. So, if you get him to plus 40, that's a very, very good thing. I recommend going to plus 40 with him because he gets crit rate and crit damage, which is absolutely crazy. His crit damage absolutely is enormous. Plus 20% is also great. So, when attacking enemies inflicted with blood tear, increase damage death by 20%. More damage to him. Perfect. You will always have blood tear. Unless they cleanse it. So versus bosses, this is great. This is a great unit for overall and everywhere. So his assist. When the assisted fighter hits an enemy, they have a 10% chance to inflict a bleed, causing the target to lose 2% of max HP every second, capped at 20% of Vascondi's attack until the end of the battle. So he's consistent. You can play him with Vega, with Fashion uh, Ken, uh, with any form of Vega. This is really good, actually, for bleed units. A good assist. Solid assist. Solid S-rank assist. So... At plus 10, for every 50% max HP lost, for every 50 max HP. So if you recover HP, but the total in general is 50%, you're gonna get this buff. A result of unleashing combos and super combos, there's a 60% chance to inflict blood tear on all enemies. More consistency. Plus 20, when attacking enemies with uh, inflicted with blood tear, increases pressure by 25%. Pressure, it means accuracy, so he doesn't miss. So it's really, really great. A plus 30, upon losing a total of 100 max HP as a result of unleashing combos and super combos, increase the attack by 40% until the end of the battle. He increases attack, not damage, attack. This is what you need with him. So it's a must build to plus 30. And he will lose a total of 100%. So if you use his super and you use his C3, that's 60%. If you use his super again, then uh, a C2 or a C3. So on the second rotation, 100%, you're going to go below 100% uh, attack and uh, HP, max HP lost in total. And you're going to recover that by, by lifesteal or playing which uh, jury on top of him or running a healer on the team. All of them work. This is absolutely insane. This is insane. I would recommend playing uh, Summer Elena maybe with him. Summer Elena will uh, heal uh, and give buffs, which will be great actually. Absolutely a monster unit. His cards. Let's read his cards. So, increase the damage of Crimson slash Phantom slashes to 80% of attack. Wow. Okay, 80% of attack. More attack. It means more damage. 
That's 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 cool. That's cool. That's a must build to three out of three. Six out of six. Let's see. When Crimson Slash slashes and uh, hits an enemy, the increase of the effect accuracy of bleed effects on the target by 200% for 8 seconds. So he buffs bleed, everything of bleed, the accuracy of bleed. So you will 100% uh, tag the enemies with bleed. So if you play him with a bleed comp, the 6 is, uh, out of 6 is a must. You don't need to build him to uh, plus 6, but it's always recommended because it will give him more stats. That's uh, the main thing. So at uh, soul power, plus 30, each strike has an additional 16% to inflict a blood tear. Perfect. At plus 60, increase damage by uh, 474% of attack. And lastly, PvP damage bonus and damage reduction. An absolute monster of a unit. An absolute monster of a unit. This unit is the new meta, I think, in my head. This, this looks, for me, reading this. Now, of course, we need to test and apply this on actual reality. We're gonna have two units from him, I think, from his event. I bet that we're gonna get, where is it? Is it here? No. Yeah, here, here. So, one unit here, of course, and another unit in this last one. Uh, or, it's the second one, the second one, here we go. That's the masks, but here, you're gonna get two units from him. That's two units that you can build from him. If you're paying a little bit of money to get him, there's, uh, of course, in the mall, I think, there's a pack that you can buy him. Yes, you can buy him here. So, you can buy, where is it? Here, one unit. It's a hundred dollars, so uh, I don't recommend spending a hundred dollars on him. Maybe get tickets by a hundred dollar, and you may get some doubles when summoning him here. Here we go. Here he is. I'm gonna confirm here because I'm gonna use all my summons. Now you know that I had three hundred plus uh, tickets, and now I dropped to two hundred and thirty. In eighty tickets alone, I got Summer Elena to where she is right now at SS Plus. It was lucky summons, very very lucky. I should have stopped at SS, but because I got double, so uh, it's another copy for her. I had to pull another unit, and I did a single. I got another copy of her, or I did a multi. I got another copy of her. In total, eighty tickets summoned to get her from A Plus to SS Plus. That's all the copies I got in all eighty summons. On the other hand, 80 summons used to get one copy of Gokin. That was super unlucky. But it was lucky for Summer Elena. This is why I have her right now. And I built her to plus 30. I guess I built her to plus 30. Yes, I built her to plus 30. An absolutely crazy unit actually as a support. It helped me a lot and improved my lineup. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace. Time to fight. Time to fight.